Hi, I'm Chelsea. I'm going to be an assistant language teacher with the JET program, and here's everything I'm bringing with me to move to Japan. Before we get into the items, I wanted to share a bit of context about my current situation. You'll hear this phrase a lot in the JET program that every situation is different. What is important and necessary for you may be entirely different than mine, and it's going to be based on where you're coming from and where you'll be living in Japan. I grew up in the US in Southern California where the climate averages 70 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and is quite dry most of the year. I'll be moving to Southern Japan and the real big difference in climate is the humidity. In terms of clothes, I'm 5 foot 1 and wear a US size 6 shoe. So finding clothes that are in my sizes in Japan is probably not going to be an issue for me. I'm actually really looking forward to buying a lot of new clothes, either through thrifting or through local shops, once I arrive in Japan. Finally, for my departure group in 2021, we are entering Japan in the midst of a pandemic. This means that I need to bring enough things to get through a two-week quarantine, as well as prepare for my first week of work, um, knowing that I probably won't be able to shop for many things once I arrive in my home city. All right, let's get into the packing list. My departure group was allowed to bring two pieces of luggage to check into the flight, as well as one personal item. The personal item isn't as large as a normal carry-on size, as it needs to be able to fit under the seat in front of us on a bus or plane. The size restrictions will be provided to you, so be sure to check the size and weight requirements for your group. I have two luggages that I'm bringing in a large and medium size. I got them in different sizes because I wanted to be able to store them inside one another while I'm in my apartment to save space. I also wanted to challenge myself to bring less stuff overall. For my personal item, I'm bringing a 28 liter travel backpack. I'm hoping I can use this for weekend trips while I'm traveling around Japan. Some other bags I'm bringing are a regular backpack for school, a smaller bag for daily use, and a sling. I'll be using packing cubes and various bags to organize all of my things inside my two suitcases. Let's get into clothes! So, as I mentioned earlier, I'm planning to buy a lot of clothes once I arrive in Japan and once I get a sense of what I'm able to wear at my different schools for work. I've divided my clothes into five different categories. Business clothes, casual wear, shirts, intimates, and shoes. For my business suit, I have a black blazer, black slacks, a white button-up shirt, and black shoes. I also have a pair of black wide leg pants and two skirts. And all of this will go into my large packing cube. And my second largest cube will be my casual clothes. Athletic gear such as sweatpants, running shorts, and leggings. Two pieces of outerwear, a white crew neck sweater, and a yellow windbreaker. A pair of floral shorts and a pair of straight leg jeans and a beige dress. For shirts, I have three oversized tees that I usually wear as pajama shirts, two camis, two floral button-ups, and two t-shirts. These will go into a medium cube. The other medium-sized cube is a shoe bag where I'll store my various sandals. I'll put my climbing shoes and hiking shoes in a separate bag. Finally, I have my intimates, underwear and bras, a sports bra, a swimsuit, a pajama set, and socks. I'll divide these up into my two small cubes. During quarantine, we'll have access to coin laundry machines, but I'll also be packing a bottle of laundry detergent so that I can hand wash my clothes in my room. I'll be wearing an outfit to travel in. Comfy sweats, tennis shoes, a t-shirt, and a jacket. Next up is my skincare, makeup, and toiletries. Here are a few items that I'm bringing that I'd like to highlight. First, I'm bringing my favorite foundation in a shade that matches my skin tone so that I don't have to worry about finding that shade while I'm in Japan. I'm also bringing a couple of tubes of toothpaste as I've been told it's difficult to find toothpaste with fluoride in Japan. I'm also bringing antiperspirant for the same reason. I'll be bringing jewelry that I wear on an everyday basis, as well as some hair accessories. Here I have items for urinary tract health as well as my daily vitamins. I also have items for managing my allergies and ibuprofen. 
Other types of medications may require a specific form to bring into Japan, so please be sure to check with the Japanese Ministry of Health. Moving on to tech, I'm bringing my laptop, my Nintendo Switch, an external hard drive and battery, a film camera, and a GoPro, along with their respective cables and accessories. I'm also bringing a phone tripod and gimbal to make videos. I also have an outlet adapter. In the US, we sometimes have plugs that have a third ground prong, but Japan uses two prong outlets. I also have different types of headphones and my AirPods. I'll organize these items into smaller bags before putting them in my smallest backpack. I have a whole list of items just for comfort that I've divided into a few smaller categories. To make traveling more comfortable, I have an eye mask, earplugs, and compression socks to wear on the plane. I also have hand sanitizer, hand cream, and lip balm as the air in the plane can be quite dry. For quarantine, I'm bringing a few of my favorite snacks and drinks. We will be fed three meals a day, but we won't be able to leave the hotel, so I wanted to bring a few things that remind me of home. I've brought some games to play with friends while I'm in quarantine. One is a cold case mystery game, and the other is a Lego set. My friends have versions of this at home, so we can play and do together online. I took the Lego set out of the box to save some space. Finally, I'm also bringing a paint by numbers kit. Once I arrive in my apartment, I brought a few items to use as decorations, such as printed photos, postcards, and this really cute anteater plush that I got as a gift from my coworkers and friends on my last day of work. Finally, for pure comfort, I'm bringing a neck pillow since I tend to get neck pain. Let's talk about omiyage. As a foreigner, you may not be expected to bring omiyage, also known as souvenirs, though it can be a nice gesture when you first meet your coworkers in Japan. The key to omiyage is bringing individually wrapped snacks so people can take as many or as little as they'd like. It's also a good idea since it's more sanitary as we're still in a pandemic. I recommend asking your predecessor or current ALTs in your area about their recommendations and if you're expected to bring omiyage. It also depends on your situation for me, I'm going to be teaching at eight different schools, so I definitely will not be bringing omiyage for all of the teachers and all of those schools. So for my omiyage, I'm bringing two boxes of Seize Candies lollipops, hoping that they don't melt in the plane. And I'm also bringing this reusable bag from Trader Joe's as a gift for my direct supervisor. For school, I'll be working mostly with younger kids, so I've brought a ton of different stickers to give to them when I meet them for the first time. And finally, kind of school related, I'm bringing some materials to study Japanese. So, how did I divide these items up? Into my medium backpack goes a clipboard with my photos and postcards on it, my Japanese workbook, the cold case game, stickers, paint, and an extra pair of glasses. My travel backpack has a few pockets for organization. In the main compartment, I have my documents folder, laptop, an empty water bottle, switch, my emergency pouch, and a phone gimbal. In the pockets, I put my external battery, my compression socks and eye mask to wear on the plane, a journal and some pens, and my chargers. In this side pocket, I have disinfectant wipes, my energy bars, my small tech pouch, and the outlet adapter. There are two pockets at the top of the bag for easy access. In the hard shell pocket will be my hand sanitizer, hand lotion, lip balm, my disposable camera, and earplugs. The other top pocket will have my wallet, passport, and AirPods. Finally, I'm bringing a handheld scale in the small side pocket. I'll divide the rest of my items between the two suitcases. In the medium suitcase are items that I'll need once I'm in the hotel. On the left are my shirts, sandals, toiletries like my skincare, toothbrush and shampoo, plus smaller items like my makeup brushes and a hat. On the right side are my casual clothes, intimates, neck pillow, and tech bag. Everything else will go into my large suitcase. 
outdoor shoes, laundry detergent in a plastic bag, my smaller water bottle, gummy vitamins, smaller snacks, more vitamins, omiyage, extra toothpaste, my sling, my Lego kit, and my smaller backpack. On the right are my other clothes, extra masks, my anteater plush, and larger snacks. And that's it. That's everything I'm bringing with me to move to Japan. If you have any questions about any of the items I'm bringing, please let me know. Or if you have recommendations about things I should have brought that could be useful to other ALTs leaving for Japan, please leave it as a comment down below. We can use that as a space to share resources and knowledge. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really excited to make more videos like this that are informational as well as some vlogs to document my year in Japan as a JET ALT. Take care and I hope to see you in another video. So, how do you like my swimming? <laughs>